Hello, Jessica and me here for the Finance News Network. Joining me from Brainship is CEO Lou Donato. Hi, Lou. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Good to see you again. Thanks for joining us from California. So for those that don't know, just tell us where Brainship has come from and how you see the company currently positioned. I think Brainship's come from a very interesting place. We take the neuroscience uh, component of what we do, mix it with digital technology. Uh, we've taken uh, great strides to commercialize our product. Uh, what, we, what we provide to the marketplace is a fully integrated spiking neural network, which solves very sophisticated problems uh, by approaching it with kind of the neuroscience uh, manner in which your brain works, and we do it and reduce it to practice in digital logic. Now to your sales strategy, Lou, your most recent quarterly update talked about some collaborations and gave some guidance around the revenues that could eventuate later this year, but can you be a bit more specific for our audience? Certainly. I think this year has been, uh, at least so far this year, this has been a, a year of great strides for us. We announced a collaboration with a company called Gaming Partners International. Uh, GPI has uh, the lion's share of all currency shipped into casinos around the world. So chips on the table, the lion's share of that currency. Uh, our effort with them is to provide a visual analytic tool so that we can guard against, or call it currency security, we can guard against counterfeit, we can guard against collaboration uh, and cheating at the table. We partner with GPI, they do business uh, with all 3,500 casinos in the world. There's 68,000 gaming tables in the world that need to be protected. Uh, we have that leverage, we have that reach through their sales force. Similarly, we announced a collaborative uh, effort with a company called Quantum Corporation, which is a large-scale storage manufacturer. Uh, we also announced a collaborative effort with a company called Veritone. Uh, Veritone is similar uh, in that it's a storage uh, application, but it's it's provided in the cloud. So what do you see as the real market opportunity for brain chip products? So we will take what is currently done in software or currently done partly in software and in hardware, we'll reduce that to practice in a single chip solution, uh, which the Akita device, which is currently in development, the software kernel is already in the hands of one of the largest European automobile manufacturers. It's being uh, reduced to practice for other uh, key customers as well in other vertical segments, but it opens up a very wide aperture for us and, and market opportunities. Beyond vision, we'll be able to analyze what we call big data. It could be agricultural data, it could be financial technology data, stock and options trading, high frequency trading, it could be cybersecurity data. So today we're building a large business around vision applications. As Akita comes to the fore in the later part of 2018 and early 2019, it opens up that aperture. We, we recognize that it's about a $7 billion US, $7 billion market opportunity. So it's a great landscape for us. Uh, and Akita is going to be the first neuromorphic system on a chip available in the commercial market. And can you say who the car manufacturer is in Europe that you're working with? You know, we've not discussed that publicly. Uh, it's, it's a German, major German automobile manufacturer. There's been a lot of speculation in the market. But I, I would also say that we're not um, limited to that one engagement. We're also in Detroit. Uh, we're also in other parts of Europe outside of Germany. You know, there are major manufacturers in Germany, everyone from you know, you know Volkswagen, which has the Porsche Audi brands, you know, Mercedes-Benz, of course, you've got BMW. In Detroit, you've got the big three, Ford, Chrysler, General Motors. Uh, but there are also third-party manufacturers that supply systems uh, to the automobile manufacturers. You know, in the United States, you have Continental, you've got Delphi in France, you've got Valio. Those are all prime opportunities for us. And frankly, they're a little faster time to market because those uh, collaborations don't have to go through kind of the rigorous uh, supplier qualifications that you go through in the you know pure play automobile manufacturer market. So our focus is both the uh, top tier automobile manufacturers as well as those third parties that supply to the top tier automobile manufacturers. Now to AI or artificial intelligence and the competition landscape, what makes Brainship and its products so unique? Probably the most important question. What, what makes Brainship different um, is the way artificial intelligence is typically reduced to practice today is still doing computing. 
computing, mathematical computing, fixed point or floating point mathematics. We don't do that. We actually mirror the way your brain works. We take data inputs and we generate electrical spikes uh, which really mirror the way your brain operates. And those spikes get mapped, and they get mapped against or correlated to specific trends that any end user would like to see. It's very low power. It works in very low resolution and very noisy environments. There's no mathematics involved. So it's high performance, low latency, low power. And lastly, Lou, what can investors look forward to for the rest of this year and into 2019. Investors in late 2018 and into 2019 will see and should enjoy the commercialization of 10 years worth of effort on the part of our founder, Peter Vandermaid. Uh, again, we introduced our products in the later part of 2017. Sales cycle is such that we're at that point where we've got a nice sales funnel. Uh, 2018, back half of 2018, should be a very successful uh, year for us. And 2019 will continue that success, but also introduce the Akita product, which opens up a much wider opportunity for us. Wonderful. Thanks so much, Lou Donato, for the update. Thank you very much.